Today we're going to start a owl drawing. So you're going to need a piece of paper. You can use pencil or sharpie, whatever you have. Okay, you can turn your paper horizontal or vertical. For this, I'm going to have my paper be vertical. Okay, and we're going to start our owl with two large eyes. So we want the eyes to be somewhat in the center of our paper. And we want them a little bit bigger than a golf ball. Just like that. Once you have your circles, we're gonna do the eyelid. And then we're gonna do the circle within our eye. So you can have them putting them together like the owl's looking inward. We can put them on the side like it's looking to the right. You can put them down like it's looking down. So you can put your eyes any way you want. I'm gonna be having them look over here to the left. I'm gonna draw my circles a little bit bigger. Okay, now that you have that, we're going to draw in his or her like feathered eyebrows. So they're going to point from the side of the eye and go on an arch up. Point from the side of the eye and go on an arch up. And back down. Then this side. And back down like that. Then once we have our eyebrows, we're going to do the little droop of feather of his face shape. So starting from a little bit of the center of the eyebrow we have here, we're going to draw a line. It's going to come in, come back down, and then go back to the other side. Kind of looks a little bit like goggles. Once you have that, we're going to put in the top of our head. Now we want a beak. So right in the middle of our eyes here, we're going to draw a little arch, kind of like a U. And then it's going to come down into a point and go back up. Just like that. Once you have it, you can put the little two dots on your beak. Now that we have that, we're going to do our belly. So kind of aligned with the center of your eye, you're going to draw a arch coming down kind of to the center of the eye, an arch coming down, and then a W to connect them. Now that we have the belly, we're going to draw in the wings of our owl. So from the side of the head, it's going to come down until it gets closer and closer and touches the bottom. Side of the head comes down closer and closer to it touches the bottom of our W shape. Okay, now that we're here, we're going to draw in our branch. So we're going to draw a line, kind of wiggly going from one side to the other. A little bit wiggly. I'm gonna put a small branch in here, kind of coming off the paper. Maybe another one, kind of coming off, just like that. And then I'm gonna draw a little bit of the tree coming up here to the side. Kind of jump over his little eyebrow there and then go up. Okay, so now we're gonna draw on some toes and they're kind of curved, long worm shapes almost. So we're gonna curve to the side and then go up. And we're gonna do this four times. Two, three, four. And then this time I'm going to have one going out to the side again. So we're going to do one, two, three, four. 
four, Maris's feet. Now that we have the basic shape, we're gonna add some details like feathers and texture for our owl. So in the belly here, I'm gonna do some U shapes kind of going around to create a feather design. I'm kind of scattering them around the center of the belly of my owl. And I want these to kind of go all the way down the owl's belly. You can make them more like V shapes. You can have them actually touch however you want just to create a design on your owl. Then on the wings, I'm going to do something similar, but now I'm going to be really long V-like shapes. Instead of Ws, I'm going to do long V-like shapes. And then as I come down the wing, my Vs are going to get kind of shorter and shorter each row I go. And then the smallest ones are going to be down here at the bottom. So again, I'm going to do that V-like shape going across and each row, getting a little shorter and shorter as I go. Just like that. And you can add any kind of details that you want to the face. I'm going to add kind of some lines. So it's a little bit different than my body because I don't want the same pattern. I want a couple different patterns. And there we have it. Now you can add any kind of details if you want some leaves on your tree. Um, do you want like a little hole in your tree where an animal might live like your owl? I am going to put in part of that hole because my tree is kind of coming off the page here. I'm going to put in kind of a arch because if you saw the whole tree, you would see it's a giant circle, but you're only seeing a sliver of the tree. So it kind of looks like a crescent shape or a semicircle. And I'm just going to color this in with my Sharpie or pencil if you're using pencil. And then once your design fully colored in, then you can color this with crayon, marker, or paint any way of your choosing. So go ahead and decorate and color your owl picture.